So, next race up is the Chris Novice Maiden Chase over three miles. Race 32 on your card. And a second here from Fairy House. So, Buffalo Ludwig for Vinnie Gerrard's and number one, the chain Pontypool Racing. La Tanza, pioneer for Matt Cooper. Her world to David Hooley. John Morgan's first time out, Janir. Nina de Miguro for Pedro Hogan. And Big as Elizabeth for Stu Gray. Just seven of them to go over this three miles. This Chris Novice maiden chase. Hopefully a little bit better pace on than the last race. Already racing. Lucky we do have a nice John Morgan front runner in here to make sure the pace is a good one. But it's Genia that has moved off into the lead. We're a couple of lengths to the rest. You know, the Maguro is a little bit on and off the bit at the moment, waiting to settle as we get to the big ditch. The second, all over that, sort of jumps at the rear by Buffalo Ludwig and her world. say swing on in. You get to the third. We'll clear that, although we're not seeing the jumping of everybody. Uh, cameraman has decided to just follow Junior. I didn't think John was race running this year. <laughs> but it is Junior that still leads us by about five lengths from the chain that's moved into second. I can't see the rest, but I assume it's Nina de Miguro, her world bigger Elizabeth and Lafhansa Pioneer as they go over the fourth. Well, that's popped into the picture there is Nina de Miguro. The Chenier. Now it takes a little bit of a hold. Cameraman pans out. We can see the rest of the field as they go over the fifth. They'll clear that well. Buffalo Ludwig just hit the ground a little bit hard. But still there. Looking for, again for a bit of room. Coming from the back. Big Elizabeth also a little bit wider in the black silks. It's uh, a little bit on and off the bridle as well, but it's Genier that leads us as they complete roughly the first mile. From the chain in second, the leader goes over the six well, the rest take it cleanly, and it's the chain in second and Nina de Maguro, and big Elizabeth, uh, well in the purple silks, from David Healy up against the fence and the great La Fenza Pioneer, and Buffalo Ludwig up the rear at the moment as we go past the winning stand the winning stand the stand and the winning post we'll go off out for another circuit and it's this Jenny here that still leads us by six to the rest which are the chain in the Maguro her world big Elizabeth and Lafanza pioneer and Buffalo Ludwig Which is the eighth, we're into it well. Oh, and we've lost one. Latananza Pioneer's gone for Matt Cooper, unlucky. A faller there. So a little bit of excitement's been added to the race. Just with that one that went there. So Genia still leads us into the ditch. Takes it well. Let's all clear it. With Elizabeth and Buffalo Ludwig. Could probably jump a little bit better. Elizabeth still getting a couple of reminders off and on, off and on the bit. One that's settled. We get to the tenth. We'll clear that or bar. Nina de Maguro made a mistake at that one. So with a mile and a quarter left to run. Genier still leads us by three or four now to the chain in her world. The one, two, three. And Buffalo Ludwig, Big Elizabeth and Nina Maguro all together. Big slow jump there by her world. Shuffles back to join the other three. Junior. Takes the twelfth well. In second place the chain there. We don't want plenty of air. And Junior gets to the ditch the thirteenth. Takes it well. Everyone else clean over it. So we're just under a mile left to travel. Still Genier from the chain, her world, Buffalo Ludwig, Big Elizabeth and Nina de Miguro. Take the plain one, this time a couple made a mistake there was the chain, shuffled back now and allowed Big Elizabeth and her world to sneak in front of him, being pushed along again along the route. Buffalo 
Ludwig's got nowhere to go. Nina de Maguro. So with five furlongs left to travel. A couple of lengths advantage for Jeanne from her world, Big Elizabeth the Chain. Skip over the 15th, that's four from home. Just three to take and half a mile to travel. Jeanne still leads, has been there since the beginning. Couple of lengths advantage from her well, big as Elizabeth making a move up on the outside now is Nina de Maguro as they go over the 16th, three from home, and it's Janir that starts to ask for something now, but here comes Nina de Maguro on his outside, big as Elizabeth didn't have any racing room, the chain's coming back into it, Buffalo Ludwig and her world are starting to pick up now, but it's still Janir nosing in front with two and a half furlongs to go from Nina de Maguro, the chain alongside, moving well now is the her world as they go over the penultimate, they will take it well slow jumps at the rear by Big Elizabeth and Buffalo Ludwig, but Janir's got a length advantage now as they went over that one. So we just one to jump and a furlong to run. It's Janir and Nina de Magura, the leads over it well. Leads by two from Nina de Magura, the chain, her well, Buffalo Ludwig still trying to plug on. Big Elizabeth seems to have nothing left, so half a furlong left to run and it's Janir, but here comes Nina de Magura. I think the line's going to come in time for Janir. Pillar to post one for John Morgan from Nina de Magura in second. The chain was third, her well was fourth. So, Chris Norris' maiden chase goes to John Morgan's Junior, even if I'm not pronouncing that right. I suppose it could be called Genier. Anyway, Nina de Magura for Patrick Owen was second. Third was... Oh. Grey Clutterbuck's horse. The, I can't remember what it's called. The Chain, yes, The Chain was third. Her world for David Hoodie was fourth. Buffalo Ludwig for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. Big Elizabeth hung on for six. Good three lengths behind. God, my horses are rubbish. And Latanza, pioneer for Matt Cooper, didn't make it round.